The ground beneath California is moving. We're talking uh, movements that are maybe the width of two stacked pennies every year. Researchers have now found evidence that tectonic plates are grinding over and under one another. In the past, computer models simulating the San Andreas Fault have only estimated this movement. But with GPS technology, researchers have physically identified these tiny shifts. No need to panic, says Sam Howell from the University of Hawaii. So it's not like all of a sudden your house is going to sink down. You know, these are really small motions, like you said, maybe a foot over 150 years. but understanding those motions allows us to go back and check our knowledge of what we think is going on. Monitoring the San Andreas Fault is critical because it does have the potential to unleash a catastrophic quake on the West Coast. Past studies have shown there is enough stress on the fault to produce an earthquake of a magnitude greater than 7.0. Howell compared the strain to standing on a square piece of carpet. If you're standing on a square scrap of carpet, you're kind of like the part of the fault that's not moving. And you have some friends that start pushing on the sides of the carpet. Even though they're only pushing horizontal because you're standing there, the carpet's going to warp and it's going to come up in some places. And he says small vertical movement isn't the biggest concern. It's not a bad thing. You know, the real seismic hazard comes from the horizontal motions, which are 10 times that. In fact, the last big quake on the San Andreas Fault was a magnitude 7.9. That ruptured from Monterey to Los Angeles counties in 1857. Scientists say this new data doesn't help them predict exactly when or where the next quake might occur. But in the Please. last 150 years, we've moved about a foot, a little over a foot, up right. and down. <laughs> oh, boy. Now we know. Yeah, Bob, thanks very much.